Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I made these really cool celestial galaxy hanging orb ornaments for your window or your holiday tree or whatever, wherever you would like to hang them. Um, so it's super simple. We're going to use some things that we have around the house and stick around, get comfy, and I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to be using in our project today. I just took some old glass holiday ornaments that I had. I believe I probably got these at the auction even. So plastic would probably be wor work, but I prefer glass. And I also use some of my deco art gesso in white. And I like to apply it with a sponge dauber. You could use a brush, you could use a sponge, you could use your finger. You're going to need an assortment of nail polish, colors of your choice. Uh, I'm going for a celestial kind of a theme here, so I wanted to do some blues and greens and purples. I'm probably going to throw in a little shot of hot pink. I have some glitter ones here. They all react differently with uh, the water, so you're just going to have to experiment. I can't really tell you which work best over the others because I've never really done that research. You're going to need a old bowl that you don't mind getting totally covered and ruined uh, with paint or enhanced, if you will. This is just an old plastic bowl I had, and it is already well on its way here. You're going to need water in your bowl. Um, I use a empty glass with some chopsticks. When I'm painting the ornament, we're going to take off the bottom here and then it's easy to paint it this way as well as to put it in a glass to dry afterwards. So that's the purpose of that. And then once we get these all painted and done, you're going to be using some type of a thread. I love to use fishing line for many projects, any kind of monofilament or just plain old thread, I guess would work as well. Use some beads of your choice. I just have an assortment here. And when we're all done, going to give these a coat of some, uh, I'm going to use my DecoArt Americana sealer in matte. I also have a glossy, but I prefer the matte finish, but you can use whatever you want. And that is it for our supplies. So I will see you back here when we're uh, ready to gesso and get started. See you in a second. Okay guys, next I'm going to show you how I gesso these. And I like to give them two coats. I told you I'll take out the bottom piece. It usually just slips right out with no problem. Be careful though, especially if you're using glass because you don't want to cut yourself, obviously. And then I'm just take my gesso and use, this is pretty self-explanatory. Use my little dauber and I do, you know, steady it there at the bottom, but this helps. And I just start at the top and smooth strokes all the way around. And like I said, when the first coat dries, go back and give it a good second coat. The, um, Sponge marks won't matter once, you know, the marbling is on. This gesso is pretty thick. So depending on what you're using, you may not need as much or you may need more. But it doesn't have to be especially neat because, again, you're going to be covering this with the nail polish. So we're going to let this dry and give it another coat and just like magic oh and again I'll set it right in the glass just like that and let it dry so that way it's not touching anything 
and I just happen to have two that are complete here that I did that actually have two coats on them and these are dry and ready to be marbled so I'll be back in just a second with our water and we're gonna begin playing see you in a second okay you guys this is where the fun part begins now if you're worried about getting your hands messy which you will get your hands messy you can wear gloves um, if you want to take your rings off, things like that, you would, you're definitely going to get messy and you're going to get paint all over, but it comes off with nail polish remover and it's not going to kill you. Don't eat it. So take any random colors of nail polish of your choice. I'm going to use these just for our first one here. Um, I don't know how this is going to come out. So we're going to do this together. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up. And I'm going to pour a couple of drops of polish onto the top surface of the water. And hopefully it's going to float and not sink. Some do better at this than others. Of course, the first one that I want to show you, that thing that fell was the little nail polish ball that um, is kept inside the polish. So I'm thinking that one's empty. We'll do a little bit of this green, turquoisey, and I definitely want to try some of this glitter. Oh yeah, and. Do a little drop of white just for haha's. I should do some of that pink that I showed you before. Uh, maybe we will. Why not? Let's try it. I'm a little afraid that I'm going to make this too heavy, but I'll just give it a drop. Ooh, or two. Okay, you guys, we'll get that off the end of it. So now we're going to take our globe and I'm going to grasp this the best that I can, trying to keep my fingers away. And we're going to plunge this down into the polish and turn it at the same time and then lift it up. So that's the only way I can do is describe this is to just do it. So here we go. And this is what we got there. Now, when this dries, the enamel settles down a little, but isn't that cool? And you can do it again and again. I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and I probably will do around the bottom edges. But let's try another one just so you could see the difference. And I'll set that to dry in our glass. Isn't that fun, you guys? Let's just do one more. Um... I'll do a little purple this time. And you, you will have to change your water frequently. Um, I'll change it after this one. I've seen some amazing uh, marbling artists YouTube videos. Um, these people use silk screening techniques and I don't even know how they do it. It's just freaking incredible. So look at that glitter spread. Isn't that cool? Just doing that, putting the polish on the water is fun. I, you, you know, but you're talking to, this is a girl who likes to watch candles drip too. So uh, it's just so beautiful and random. How pretty, you guys. And I told you I was going for a celestial theme, but, well, there are pinks and beautiful purples, and, oh, we already know that that one's empty. All right, let me put that aside. I do have another blue. Try this one. So you guys experiment. Use up your old nail polishes. Try different color combinations. This is a great craft to do with your kids, your grandkids. 
You could think of other things that you could certainly use this marbling technique on. So here I'm going to come in with one more, you guys, and we're just going to plunge, turn, and lift. Okay. How amazing. I wish you could really see the sparkles in the light. So I'm going to let these dry. I'll finish up a couple more. And when they're done, we're going to hang them and do some beading. And then we will actually, you know what? When they're dry, we'll spray them with the acrylic spray first and then we'll string them. So I'll see you back here after I finished everybody. Have fun. Okay, you guys, I'm back. These are now dry and I went over them with a quick coat of this Americana sealer. I told you I like to use matte. You can use glossy. I added back the top and if you'd like, you can cover this, paint this, change it. Um, I don't mind the gold. I prefer silver, but this is fine. It's a nice accent. Before I show you how I'm, we're going to string these, I want to show you, I did a little experiment and I'm really glad I did because I think I really kind of like this a lot. I decided to try out, you know, my little muse said, hey, what about some black? So as I was playing around, I decided to coat one of my balls that I had already done with just some black acrylic paint and then I re-dipped it. So you can see there's all this texture here and this is not completely dry yet, but when it's completely dry, I'll do the same thing. I'll cover it in the acrylic sealer and hang it the same way, but I really think that I like the black a little bit better. I don't know. What do you guys think? They're both so beautiful. Um, but I will be making some more of these. So this was just, listen to your muse, you know? My little voice was like, hey, how about some black? And I'm really glad I did it. So we'll let that dry. And then I'm going to show you, this is so simple, I can't even believe I'm having to show you, but I'm going to. I'm just going to take some of this monofilament, and I like to use, like, with my arms outstretched, so that's probably three feet, which is going to be a little bit long, but you rather err on the side of caution, or at least I like to. I just cut off, you know, the piece size I want to use, and... If you want, before you put this top on, you can apply some E6000 or glue or something. I haven't. They, I've had no problems with these uh, coming apart, but if you want, you can seal it before you do this. And then I'm just going to do a simple knot. Nothing fancy. Just a couple times. If your fishing line, your monofilament filament is thicker than this, it might have difficulty um, just staying knotted but I have no problems with this and I'll leave a little tail and I'll thread that tail we're gonna put some beads on this and I'm gonna thread this tail through the first couple beads just to help secure it a little more uh, along with the end here I don't know how well you guys can see that and then we're just gonna cut off this excess thread and I'll just show you we're gonna take the beads of our choice I have just poured a bunch of my favorite glass beads in a container here and in no particular order we're going to just take one of these and hopefully I can see which I can't anymore you guys it's really time for me to go back to the eye doctor here we go so both both pieces of thread are through this bead and then I'm just gonna pull the longer one through and we'll keep threading uh, beads on. And then, you know, I'll just cut off this excess here. And we're going to keep going and keep threading. And you can thread all the way up if you'd like. Or you could just put a few on. I have various ones just for variety. You could do whatever you want. And just for the sake of showing you guys, I happen to have one completed here. And I like to attach a basic little uh, key ring at the end. They're good to hang. And I'll also take, just as a simple way to hang it, I'll take a big paper clip and just open it up. 
and take the shorter end and just close it one time like that and then now I have this hook where I actually have a wire strung across my sliding glass window at the top and I hang these hooks from it and I'll show you um, when we're done here but this I did fairly long Whoop. and that is how I finished it off I just tied it the same way we tied it down on the bottom just tied it around a few times cut off the excess string and the next shot that I'm going to show you are these hanging in my window so I hope I've inspired you to give this a try you know, throw your own ideas on there. Uh, let me know what you come up with yourselves. I really hope you enjoy this. These are perfect for holiday time. I like to use them just for beautiful decorations. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Take care. Blessed be. Okay, you guys, I changed my mind about where I'm hanging these. I decided to hang them in my kitchen window instead, as if I didn't have enough hanging in my kitchen windows. But I just love how they look and they fit in cool with the beads. Um, I'll show you my other window here. So there's that black one. I just think it looks amazing. And again, I hope I've inspired you guys to give this a try. It was super simple. I guarantee you have the ingredients on hand. I'm pretty sure. Um, greetings from my avocado pit. <laughs> it finally took off. So anyway, you guys, I hope you have a great day. And like this video if you like it. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you do. I make videos very frequently. So have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.